My name is uh, Glenn Thompson. I'm a uh, member of the Wayne Landcare Group. I have been for um, over 20 years since it was first started at Wayne. Uh, I live on Finlay Road, which is four miles north of Kyobra. Um, we farm here um, loose and hay, wheat and, wheat and canola, and a few adjustment cattle, dairy cattle. And um, my aim was to try and build the ground up by using a bit more um, organic matter. So that's why we've uh, used the um, compost for trial. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it is successful to a point. Um, your costs and that you, you've got to be aware of for your return. Yeah, I received a Beyond Soil Care grant. Yeah, the grant uh, was um, all organised through our um, local land care groups to have a field day and um, that was very successful. We had a barbecue, lunch and everything and um, we had about oh, 25 people at least. Yeah, it was very successful. One of the trials we put um, on a four acre, which was about two hectares, um, we put two semi loads, which was probably about 20 ton, uh, 20 ton loads, so 40 ton on on um, on two hectares, so have that, and um, yeah, it certainly certainly made the ground softer, and and you could see where it went. That's for sure. It was it went on fairly thick. Like the the idea was is to try and build the ground up, make the ground lighter. Um, uh, more organic because it was very fairly clay bit of bits of ground. As after we um, after we lays it, we shifted a lot of dirt and um, and there was a bit of clay mixed in with the soil, it was the topsoil, and um, it certainly did improve the soil. No, it it, it was successful to a, to a degree as far as but the only issue that I have with it is the difference between whether it's worthwhile as far as the costing side of it, the transport and, and whether you need to buy it, how much you're buying, how much you're paying for it, um, how your, um, uh, your cost of spreading it. You've got not only the freight, you've got the cost of spreading it as well. So all those, all those things, yeah. And at a time, um, if you've, you're going from one crop to the other, um, that's an extra job you've got to do for, for timing to get the next crop back in. You don't want to be delayed. Um, if you can, if it's available um, at the at the depot where you can get it, pick it up. All those sort of things have got to be correspond with timing. Um, uh, the green waste that we got it was from Shepparton, and it was um, uh, mostly garden clippings and that type of thing, rose clippings. And yeah, that was done with the, with a pressure cooker that they have over there, where they they, they uh, put into a container and and heat it and, and um, it's a quicker way of composting it. Um, I like the idea of the uh, the chicken manure. I think the chicken manure has got a lot of merit in it because you've got a lot of goodies in the chicken manure where the compost is that you've got a lot of waste from the town where you've got lawn clippings and rose clippings and so it hasn't got a lot of um, goodness in it where you need, a, uh, need that to get your lift in the paddock as well as putting your um, putting your, your goodies in the ground as far as your compost and it goes you want you want a result out of it you want growth you got to get a return